Hello everybody, this is the sixth passage from the Ab Urbe, and this one's about Numa the Lawgiver. I really like Numa the Lawgiver, and lots of people haven't heard of him. So, Kertarme, a struggle, ortum est, arose, in de, then, or a struggle from there, arose, inter factiones, among the factions, de regno, over the kingdom. Sabini, the Sabines, cupiebant, were wanting creari, to, um, to announce, or to make a regem, to make a king of their own faction. Romani Veteres, the Roman elders, recusabant, were refusing a peregrinum, a foreign king. Interregno secuto, after a, an interregnum, which is the period between ruling, um, so after a, an interregnum followed, when an interregnum followed, Perfect, active, participle, ablative, absolute. Senatus, imperium. The Senate, gesit, imperium. I suppose managed the kingdom, ruled the kingdom, if you will. De inde. Then, the plebs. Do you remember the difference between sort of the plebs and the senators and things like that? So, the plebs. Funny little series on ABC. Um, politician in Britain recently got, or a couple of years ago, got in trouble for calling somebody plebs. Um, plus the F word as well, actually, um, when they wouldn't let him into number 10. And it's, uh, it's a real insult in English. Um, fortunately, in Australia, without such a horrible class system, that kind of thing doesn't happen so often. So anyway, I'm digressing. Then the plebs began to shout that many masters had been factos essay. So I'm seeing the clamare, I'm seeing the shouting, and thinking this is going to be followed by an accusative infinitive. So then the people began to shout that many masters had been made pro uno in place of one. Igitur, therefore, it seemed best, I'm not sure that would be a particular phrase used by the Romans, but therefore it seemed, we summest, it seemed best creare to make a king without delay. Habitabat eo tempore. There was living at that time in Cures, Numa, that was the capital, if you remember, of the Sabines, um, Numa Pompilius, a weird justissimus, a very just man and skilled um, in all, literally skilled, followed by the genitive, of all divine and of human laws. And skillful, knowledgeable of all divine and human law. Regnum A, the kingdom, delatum est, the kingdom was passed down to him. Consensu, by the agreement, omnium genitive of everyone. Is. He, here we go, sorry, I was just looking at that, he, don't forget those pronouns that I told you everyone keeps on forgetting. Um, he, firmavit, so I was just looking at it and thinking, right, well, there's my object, where's my main verb? Well, it's not condi to erat, it's got to be firmavit here. So, he strengthened the new city, quae, which condita erat, which had been founded by Romulus, with armies, with weapons, he strengthened it with jure legibus, with justice and with laws. I'm going to do that whole sentence again because I feel like I slightly messed it all up. He, he firmavit, strengthened with laws, legibus, and with jure and with justice, the city which Romulus, condita erat, sorry, the city which had been founded by Romulus with armies, with arms. It's a great sentence. It's good. Um, next bit. Arcum portis. I think the notes here said that arcum meant bow. It doesn't mean bow in this context. I'm sure it means arch. So he made an arch instructum. Um, he made an arch. And then for instructum, we're going to want that. I suppose we could say, I'm trying to think of the best way of, um, of describing that. He wanted an arch, or he set up an arch designed, drawn up, because we're just going to have to say drawn up, which is the, the traditional um, translation for it. He constructed an arch drawn up with gates, qui. This arch was called Janus, was named after Janus. So he made an, um, an arch which, so he, he made an arch drawn up with portis, 
he made an arch drawn up with polities, with gates. This was called the Arch of Janus, which was called the Arcus Jani, the Arch of Janus. Apertus, when it was open, as in when the arch was open, Apertus open, it was an indicator of war, closed of peace. Per omne, through all the kingdom, through all the reign of Numa, actually, let's say it was closed. This is quite important, actually. We mentioned it in the context of Virgil and in the context of um, and in the context of the Aeneid a little bit. And, uh, and think of why Virgil was so pleased under the reign of Augustus because this was um, because this temple was closed. Through all the reign of Numa, it was closed. Pax, peace was made with neighboring states, with societate, with an alliance, and with foederibus, and with treaties, rex, ut inde. From there, the king, convertit, turned to the customs of his people, and, sorry, from there the king, convertit, turned his mind, turned his attention to the customs of the people, and the cultum, and the worship of the gods, ut, in order to conciliaret, in order to win over the fidem, the trust of the people, he simulavit, he pretended, say, that he, habere, he pretended that he had, and uh, this next bit is quite good, he pretended that he had a meeting with the goddess Egeria, and by her advice, legere, so he pretended himself to have a, um, a meeting with the, uh, with the goddess Egeria and, by her advice, to be instituere, to be choosing, legere and instituere, to be choosing and to be legere and, uh, and to be setting up the, um, the priests, to be organising and to be choosing the priests. Next part. I was just looking to see if there was any other way that we could translate that. Um, so it's all following that indirect statement that we've got there. All part of this indirect statement is following on, following on, following on. But I think that that's actually probably the institute, um, the best bit that we're going to have, and to be um, to be organising and to be choosing priests. Yep. Um, Anum ad cursum lunae in duodecem. He describes it. He divided the year according to the cursum, to the course of the moon, into duodecem, into 12 months. He fecit, he made certain days nefastos, um, unholy, on which days comitia, elections, were not habebant, were not being held. Legit, he chose vestal virgins, virgines vestales, quas, which he made or whom, let's say whom, because it's people, whom he made sacred with kubustam, with certain ceremonies. Multa enim alia. Also, many other things were instituta, were introduced by the king. Rituals, ceremonies, priesthoods. <coughs> Excuse me. Multituro. The crowd, the people, conversa, his rebus, moved by these actions away from force and from weapons, imitabant were imitored, is here, I, um, I imitate, was imitating, they were imitating, the, um, uh, that's a deponent verb, imitabato, were taking on the customs of the king. It's really interesting that he would follow Numa, that Numa, sorry, would follow Romulus, Romulus the, the warrior king, and Numa the lawgiver. I wish Numa were more... Um, were more famous, but it does, I suppose, reflect that yes, the Romans were a fighting people, but they still had this abiding love of, of laws. Where our friend Cicero comes in, finitimi popoli, the neighbouring peoples, no levant violare, were not wanting to violate the whole state of Rome. Versam having been turned onto the or towards the cultum, the worship of the gods. Ita in this way, the two. And then we've got Deinkeps, the two kings successively 
In this way, two kings successively, Romulus with war, Numa with peace, Auxerant strengthened the kingdom, increased the kingdom. Numa Regnawit ruled for three and forty, and by that I mean forty-three years. Very well done, everyone. I will see you all on Monday.